that cover field. That's him, the man in the middle on your right, uh, Simon's come out of gully. That one there, Simon's. He was in the gully. The slip here is uh, Hayden and Harvey. In the air, but found the gap. Billy Doctor was the one that was in a bit of danger there. Commentating from the other day. That's well played. His total control, Chris Gale, he's a tall man, so he got on top of that well. Not that he was trying to keep it down too much. Found the gap on this occasion. No problems with that one, just eased it through. Why? Well, that will go for four, though. Well, this time he decided, well, I don't need a punch of proof point. I'll just smack him back past himself down the ground. Got to know the top of first slip. Went very, very quickly. And Hayden couldn't get his hand to it. In fact, it went so quick. He made Like that. Michael Clark should have a long charge, he'll dive, but will he stop it? Yes and then no. He calmed us since then to an extent. But not now. Very easily hoisted over mid on for four. He's got that away. And that's gone for four. It was short. It stood up. McGrath's lost. He's hoisted that away. That's a typical Wavell Hine shot. We saw a lot of that shot the other afternoon on Friday when he got 100. And he's got two boundaries in the over in the West Indies, 68 without loss. Brought him back in, and there he is now. Highest uh, run scorer in the series. Edge, no slip, four. Overs for 29. Eight came off his uh, previous over, two fours. And he's got it through. Goes for four. Gale just seemed to hit the toe of his boot with the bat as he came through. He just limped down a little bit. Five runs for over. It's very high and it's gone all the way. He hit six sixes in his unbeaten 125 on Friday. That's the first one here for him. 19 overs gone, it's 90 without loss. By Gale and Hines. He's down the wicket again, he's gone for another six, yes. Away to travel. Gone right through Simons, who is usually such a safe fielder and goes for four. Oh. Knocked him over. Quicker ball from Andrew Simons. Might have gone at 11 runs and over, but he's got the breakthrough. Very similar to the way uh, Samuels does it. Only just slotted that in quicker. Gale played right over it. Yorked him. Middle, sorry, not middle stump, but the off stump got knocked over. There we go again. Drifts in straight over the top of that, straightens up and hits off stump. So good delivery there from Simons after getting uh, beaten around the park. It's taken a while, taken 23 overs. The West Indies, one down, 116. That's up in the air, but it looks to have gone for six. That is magnificent. Well, that's a good stroke. Least he knows to hit it with the breeze. He's not trying to hit it on the onside. He's hit that one slightly with the breeze to the off. It's also credit to Australia, who have played so outstandingly well over the last eight years or so. Well, there's four again. Smack. That's 8,648. Well, 
It wasn't his phone number. That's going to go for four. Very good shot. Well, he's got plenty of that. Forget about chasing that. Good shot. 208 for one. Well, there it is. The gentle push to mid off. And they're all jumping out of their seats. Wavell Hines for the second time in a row this weekend. Looks to the stars and says, thank you very much. And then appreciates all his following here from the crowd. And the Aussies clapping him out there as well. Brian Lara puts his arm around his shoulder. Well done, mate. Uh, this is going to be a very good finish to this tour for the West Indies. Finish on a good note here today. They get this win up and then uh, move on, as I said, in a week's time against Sri Lanka to take them on. That's how he's done it. 125 deliveries. It's been an outstanding knock from Weevil Hines. You can't use the word commitment often enough. Well, there we go. This one might go for six. I think that just cleared the rope. Certainly did. Really good. Skips at six. Brian Lara moves on now. And those runs just getting smaller and smaller. Closer and closer. And they're just waiting to celebrate this second, well, third win in this series. But second one here this weekend. There we are, Lara. As we're used to him. Straight down the ground. Over the rope. For six. 227 for one. Really packed them in here. Wasn't as big as it as this on Friday, but it was big enough. And there's Lara going for another huge hit. That's gone the longest we've seen for the day. It's disappeared. Darren Leeming bowling his left arm finger spins and Brian Lara went down and went bang. And that is a big hit over extra cover. 11 to win. There he goes again. He's enjoying himself. And it's over the top once more. They're loving this. Well, not Darren Lehman, but they are. And if you didn't hear me the first time, Lara came down and went bang. <laughs> Successive sixes, still four balls left in the over. Just five needed now for the victory. It reduced Australians' series triumph to 4-3. West Indies would reel off three consecutive victories. First time Australia have suffered that since uh, January 2002. Lara goes again. That's even longer. That's all over. That's finished it. Three sixes off successive balls and Darren Lehman's day, which started so brilliantly with a hundred, has ended in a little bit of a disappointment with three sixes off the first three balls of the over to Brian Lara. What an emphatic way to round off this series. Joy all the way around the Queen's Park Stadium. West Indies have won three in a row. Australia, of course, clinch the series by winning the first four 249 for one the West Indies have won with six and a half overs to spare with 103 to Hines and Lara putting the exclamation marks onto the story with three consecutive fours of Lehman three consecutive sixes I should say of Lehman and carrying a souvenir